elected the world's best football player eight times, a huge idol of the Argentine nation and the greatest star of the 21st century. <laughs> In today's episode of The Hero's Journey, we're delving deeper into the beginning of the little long-haired boy story, also known as Lionel Messi. Born to Jorge Messi and Celia Cucitini in Rosario, Argentina on June 24, 1987, Messi showed a strong attachment to the ball from a young age, often refusing to go shopping with his family if he couldn't bring a ball along. His first steps were taken in the youth categories of Abanderado Grandoli, a small local club where other family members had played before. The training field was just 15 minutes from the Messi household. During an unexpected visit to watch the older players, Messi, at just 4 years old, was invited by an elderly coach to fill in for a team in a match. That unexpected opportunity was all he needed to never stop playing football again. Later, his father, Jorge, would become his coach in the youth category of Grandoli. Lionel's talent was so pronounced that he stood out even among boys up to seven years old, despite being three years younger than his teammates. However, the young boy wouldn't stay with the local team for long. His parents pulled him from the club after the directors refused to let them attend a game because they couldn't afford the tickets. At seven, Messi joined the youth divisions of his beloved club, Newell's old boy. With better structure and resources, he rapidly improved technically over the years, despite being shorter and slighter than his peers. Yet, this wasn't a major issue for Lionel, who at the time could use his speed and ball handling skills to outmaneuver opponents who were 18 while he was only 11. It was during this period that Messi first encountered one of the biggest obstacles in his career. Medical exams revealed a hormonal problem that delayed his bone development and growth. For a year and a half, the $900 monthly treatment, which consisted of injections in each leg every night, was funded by the foundation where his father worked, until they were informed that the foundation could no longer cover the expenses. When Newells also refused to continue paying for the treatment, Messi's father offered his son to River Plate, one of Argentina's biggest clubs. The capital club's interest caused Newells to reconsider, but offering only a monthly help of 200 pesos, his father decided to try his luck abroad, also as a good alternative to shield the family from the economic crisis happening in Argentina. Fortunately, or by fate, a cousin of Jorge Messi's mother lived in Lerida, Catalonia, and welcomed the Messis. After participating in some regional tournaments, Lionel caught the attention of a Barcelona scout, who recommended him for a trial at the club. At 13 and standing only on 1.40 meters tall, he again performed well against boys two years older. That's how he soon gained the support of Jose Maria Minguela, the same man who had brought Diego Maradona to Barcelona. However, the club's president at the time, Hohen Gaspart, and the sports director, Carles Rehak, were hesitant to sign the young talent, given the need to finance not only the treatment, but also the entire family's definitive move to another country. The high investment involved some risks that the Catalan club was not sure were worth taking, despite Messi's promising talent. Barcelona was only convinced after Ray Schock saw Messi, who was playing in the infantile B team, excel in the A team against a group of much older players. Seeing for himself the player's exceptional skill with dribbles and goals, Barcelona not only paid for the treatment and the family's move, but also made a point of hiring his father as a scout for the club to look for other promising players around the world. The sports director, Ray Schock, gave a curious statement about the day he watched Messi play for the first time, and immediately decided for Barcelona to invest in Messi, even though he was still an unknown teenager. This was a crucial turning point, not just ensuring Messi received the necessary health treatment, but also setting him on the path to making his mark in Barcelona's youth academy, La Masia, renowned worldwide. There he had all the conditions and resources to develop the skills that would later make him shine on the global football stage. Still, the start of his career was challenging. Even with the club's support, it was determined that he urgently needed a more intensive and expensive treatment to ensure healthy physical development without leaving any lasting issues. Amid all this, his former club Newell's old boys upset at having lost such a precious jam, refused to send the necessary documentation for Barcelona to formalize Messi's contract. 
This bureaucratic dispute required FIFA's intervention in favor of the 13-year-old boy's stay at the Catalan club, as a youngster of his age needed to be by his father's side, officially an employee of Barcelona. Thanks to the more sophisticated treatment, Messi experienced a significant growth spurt, consistently mentioned as an increase of about 30 centimeters in 30 months. This rapid growth period was crucial not only for Messi's general health, but also for his football career, allowing him to physically develop in a way that complemented his exceptional technical talent. The club's commitment to funding the treatment was an unprecedented decision at the time, changing the relationship between clubs and their young prospects. This act showed how much Barcelona believed in Messi's potential to become a great player in the medium to long term. This phase of Lionel's life is often seen as a story of overcoming and the positive impact that proper support can have on achieving a determined person's dreams. And this opportunity given by Barcelona was well utilized by the Argentine star. In the 2002-2003 youth season, Leo scored 37 times in 30 matches and began to be known by the players of the main team. Even before making his professional debut, he was disputed by the junior national teams of Argentina and Spain, which fought for his naturalization. And finally on October 16, 2004, a day that will forever be remembered as an inspiring moment in the history of Barcelona. Barcelona and world football, that day Lionel Messi, a big-haired and relatively questioned teenager at the time, made his professional debut for the club in a La Liga match against Espanyol at the age of 17. It's worth noting that in the years before Messi's debut, Barca had won 16 league titles, one Champions League and no club World Cups. In the years that followed, Barca won 10 more league titles, four Champions League and three World Championships. Messi during the 21 years he played for Barcelona became the club's all-time top scorer, with 672 goals in 778 matches. He was the player who scored the most goals in a single season. 91 goals in 2012. Messi was the player who won the most titles with the Catalan club, 34 in total, including four Champions Leagues. After an iconic career at Barcelona, where Lionel Messi established himself as one of the greatest football players of all time, he made a significant change by signing PSG in August 2021. At PSG, Messi continued to demonstrate his exceptional abilities, contributing to the team with goals and assists although facing adaptation problems to the new environment and League One. During his stay in Paris, he helped the club win the League One title in the 2001-2022 season, among other domestic trophies. However, the expectation of winning the UEFA Champions League with PSG was not fulfilled during his time at the club. Despite this, in 2022 he became a world champion with his national team, winning the World Cup, scoring two goals in the final. He was voted the best player of the competition and a key leader for this memorable victory. And in 2023, Messi made another notable change in his career by transferring to Inter Miami, a major league soccer club in the United States. This move not only highlighted Messi's willingness to accept new challenges in a different league, but also reflected the growing appeal of the MLS to internationally renowned players. His arrival at Inter Miami was met with great enthusiasm, both by the club's fan base and by the league as a whole. Despite the attention he carries for being the greatest football player of the current era, Messi seems to be an extremely quiet, reserved and sometimes shy and very humble person. Unlike most players in his circle of friends and his level of fame, he has always kept his distance from nights out and flashy nightclubs. Lionel Messi is truly a great hero of our times. He has shown through his example that despite external challenges and limitations, when we have a strong willpower, we will always find a way to move forward. And what about you? Were you aware of this difficult journey he had to overcome from his youth? If you like this content, please leave a like to reach more people. And if you want to continue following the story of real life heroes, subscribe to our channel to support our work and receive the next episodes of the hero's journey. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.